Hi everyone and welcome to another car boot haul video. Luckily the weather held off just <laughs> this week so I managed to get to my regular car boots, the local ones. It was still really muddy which was annoying but there were quite a few sellers there, slightly more than there were last time. I did pick up a little bit more than I normally do. It's nice to see the piles getting bigger every week when I go now. So I went to my favourite local one first and then I went to the Tesco Trader Car Boot. I didn't buy anything from the Trader Car Boot because there were practically 90% traders again, so not many families. But what I did do is film some footage around the Tesco Trader Car Boot. So although I didn't pick anything up, I will still post the footage probably tomorrow, so on Monday. Just as a bonus, I think it's about 15 minutes worth or so, just wandering around the car boot. I don't know if that's any interest to anyone, but I filmed it, so I thought I'd upload it. <laughs> so back to today's haul, I spent £66.50 and I'll show you what I've got now. So it's £66.50 for all this. A little steep for such a small pile, but you'll see the stuff I picked up in a minute is worth it. So let's start this end as we normally do. 14 vintage Star Wars novels, mostly from the 90s I guess, or early 2000s possibly, I don't know, but mostly 90s. 50p each these were, so £7 for all these. I've got lots of stuff off this stall, the rest will be shown at the end of this haul. But yeah, nice pickup. These don't sell for mega bucks, but if you make up bundles, they do a lot better, so I'll see what I can do with those. Next, a Jelly Cat baby book. I've had this exact one before from a charity shop. It took a while to sell. I can't remember how much it went for, but I paid 50p for that. Next, there was a guy I brought a lot of stuff off him. He had these Star Wars bath sets. I mean, I don't think these will sell very, very well at all, but... He was asking £2 each or take both for £3, so I took both for £3. I've had a quick look online, they don't, uh, there's none sold, someone's trying to get tenner for these. A couple of people are selling them less than that. I will try for £10, they'll probably be a long haul thing, they'll probably sit around for a while, but I'm sure they'll sell eventually. Next, yeah, these mugs. I was looking at this Disney Store one. It's pretty plain, but it's vintage, I'm guessing. Um, there's not much going on with it, it just says Disney Store on it. It doesn't look too bad. It's in the box, so I thought I'd pick it up. Um, so yeah, I was looking at this one and this one, the Star Wars Force Awakens one. I'm presuming it's new in the box. I don't think it's been opened. That's quite good. So I was looking at those, I think he said, I can't remember how much he said for those, but he bought over these three as well, which are vintage Disney mug sells all over that. There's a Doctor Who one, I'm not sure how official that is. But... And then there was a DC Batman mug, which again, I don't know if it's vintage or not. It's got dishwasher on, so probably not. And in the end, he said you can have them all for £4, which I was surprised about because he kept going on about how these ones were the best ones he had and all this sort of stuff. So to have all five for four pounds, I was quite happy with that. That's less than a pound each. I found a Doctor Who figure. This is the master. This is like the waxy face master, the first release of him from series three. He's got a bit of sellotape or something on him. I haven't tried taking that off yet. I'm hoping it's not a split or something in the jacket, but we'll see. Not a huge amount again, I don't know, maybe five ninety nine. I'll have to double check. I haven't sold this one for quite a while. Rubik's Cube, I do pick these up if they're cheap enough. They do seem to still sell quite well on their own. This was a pound, so I picked that up. Sell for about seven or eight pounds. Next to Barney Plush, I think it plays music, but the, I don't think it's got batteries in or anything. Um, I haven't tried playing the music on it yet, but it was only 50p, so I was picking that up all day long, because I'm presuming it will sell for more than 50p plus postage. Next, this was a great find. It's a jelly cat. 
I don't know if I mentioned this was Jelly Cat, that's why I picked that up. But yeah, this is a Jelly Cat octopus. There's not many of these online. It makes a rattly sound. It's not a really rare Jelly Cat. Um, like, it doesn't go for a lot of money. There's not that many for sale though. They're around 15 to 20 pounds, which 50p into 15 pounds or so, it's brilliant. Couple of top trumps, they looked in good condition, that's why I picked them up. This was £1.50, which is a little more than I like to pay, but this was near the beginning, so I hadn't picked, seen any of this really good stuff yet, so that's why I bought them for £1.50. These were a pound off the guy with the mugs and the bath stuff. Uh, so I picked them up for a pound. Some CDs, this was off the same woman, she had like a pile of CDs, these were all the soundtracks she had. Um, we have Mamma Mia, Hairspray, Annie, and Frozen. Not a huge amounts of money on those, especially like the Frozen and the Annie probably. The others too might be a bit better. But I do try and pick up soundtracks, and they were only 50p each, so I couldn't say no to that. This is all the other media I picked up today. I paid £2 for a Jurassic Park trilogy on Blu-ray. I don't know if that's worth it, but again, it was before I bought really good stuff, so I was thinking it was going to be slim pickings today. I paid a pound for this James Bond DVD. I do seem to sell these old special edition James Bonds very easily, so I thought I'd buy that. And another DVD, a pound. It's unusual, its battery's not included. I don't know how readily available this movie is, but... It's from the 80s, it's a classic if you haven't seen it. So I thought I'd pick that up. And then the guy that had the books also had some of these <laughs> Star Wars vintage figures and trolls. Apparently they were his sons and he moved out years ago and he was just clearing them out because he didn't want anything in the loft. So he seemed to know, I think he probably researched prices maybe. Especially on some things that he knew, maybe. Well, he called these Cantina Band. And they're not. They're Jabba the Hutt's band, the Max Rebo band. He had all this. He also had a couple of other figures, but they were really badly damaged. He had size noodles to go with the others. But it was really badly sun coloured coloured by the sun. So bright orange almost. And the feather off the top was missing and I wasn't paying £5 for that because these were £5, these figures, because they're rare and they're worth £5. They're worth about £20 each. So I picked them up. So you've got Max Rebo and Droopy McCall. And then he had other figures. So this is an A-wing, or was it a B-wing? That's the B-wing pilot. It's very played with. You can see the wear on him. Orlando, he's very common, so I won't get much for him. A Klaatu, again, very common. These two are a bit better. AT ST Pilot and an Imperial Biker Scout. So these figures were £2 each. So these two, probably around the five to six pounds each, maybe seven or eight for him, and closer to ten, maybe a bit better for some of, for that one, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, around the ten pound mark for those each. So yeah, two pound each for them was brilliant. He had a couple of others, he had a 2-1-B, but he was missing his pipe thing, and he had another one, but it was really beat up. Oh, a Riyi's three-eyed thing, but... His eyes had been chewed off and his ears had been chewed off. So I was like, no, I'm having that. He also had this Jabba's Throne. It was £12. But because I bought, so £10 for those two, £10 for them, so that's 20 And then this would have made 32 I offered him 30 and he said that was reasonable. So I got all that for £30, which is good. He had an ATST which was, I think it was £20. It was really badly sun damaged again. I wasn't picking that up and some of the guns were missing. He also had the Y-Wing for £20, which may have been worth it. It had the cockpit door, but nothing else. No engines or guns or anything. For £20, I don't know, I might have missed out on that one, but 
I didn't really have a lot more money on me uh, once I'd spent all this. I wasn't going intending to spend like 60 quid today. So yeah, I got all them. Uh, on my way back down the aisle, I looked at his stool again and everything else had sold other than this. It was a pound. It's a mini rig. These don't go for very much at all. Um, pound plus postage is probably what I'll be able to get for it. I don't know. But yeah, this was left. Obviously someone else picked up the other bits after I'd bought this this lot here. So I was very lucky to pick this lot up. If I'd been there 30 seconds later, I would have probably missed it. So yeah, very happy. You never, well I never see vintage Star Wars stuff, especially reasonably priced like this, two pound each. And before I left, I went back to that same stall. I bought the book off him and I looked at the trolls because I have sold these trolls before I don't know if they've been in the video before possibly I can't remember but yeah I have picked up these kind of trolls before and I know they sell for between 10 and 15 pounds I've even had a tennis player one before and I, I know that sold they wanted four pounds each for them and I asked them if they would do three for ten which they eventually agreed on they had a lot of other ones, probably another six or so. So if I had more money on me, I might have made an offer for all of them, but I didn't have much money left on me. But I got these three. I think these three were the best ones. So I got the tennis player because I know I've sold that one before. There's like a 90s roller skater. Which actually roller skates. <laughs> so that's cool. And then... There was this one, which is like an American football player. They had uh, like a hiker with a little rucksack. I was very debating whether to get that one instead of this one, but I eventually plumped with the football player. So hopefully they'll be do all right. Again, 10 to 15 pounds, unless I've got a really rare one that I don't know about. But yeah, that was my amazing haul from today. I'm so over the moon to find some Star Wars stuff that was reasonably priced as well. Bit of media, jelly cat stuff. Can't go wrong with jelly cat. And all those books as well. So I'm really happy the car boots are finally getting better. If we have some sunshine, it'll be a lot better. <laughs> Hopefully in a couple of weeks. So as I mentioned earlier, I will put some footage, just walk around footage on my YouTube channel tomorrow. So subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And other than that guys, I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.